Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to try alcohol inks. You guys have probably uh, seen some colorful rocks show up on my Facebook page lately and it's because I've been experimenting a little bit. So uh, somebody mentioned my OJ gloves. <laughs> These are called Gorilla Grip. They are gloves that my husband picks up for me. Uh, when I ask him to, they're the same things that you can use for paint, um, all sorts of stuff. I use them to resin, and I use them when I play with alcohol inks. So this is one that I have played with and resined. Um, I'm going to be doing some foam grips, and a tutorial for those will be coming up very soon. You will need alcohol ink, rubbing alcohol, some glitter if you're a fan of glitter. Very fine glitter, by the way. This stuff is from thepinkchair.ca. They have a lot of, like, chrome powders and stuff like that, and I find it works the best on alcohol inks. It just does fantastic things. So I'm going to be trying it out on three different kinds of stone. First one is going to be Santorini, so that's what this is. Um, I will be doing a natural Lake Superior stone, as well as a handmade stone using the molds from Happy Dot and Company, and that will be incorporated in a tutorial as well, but you'll see what it looks like on all three different stones. Um, this one, I am just literally using some alcohol ink that I got from Amazon. It's called Decor Room, so D-E-C-O-R-R-O-M, or Decor Rom, and there's 24 vibrant colors. Um, it's for alcohol painting, uh, epoxy resin painting, tumblers, stuff like that, so you can do anything you want with this stuff and it looks amazing. So I tap on some glitter. I don't like actually touch the ink with the brush that has glitter on it. I have a whole separate brush that I use uh, to dip in rubbing alcohol and then drip it onto the rock after I've put some uh, alcohol ink on there. So I'm just playing with it. Um, but I do like the effect that it gives when I put a little bit of glitter on it, the very, very fine, fine, fine chrome powder. And then right now I'm dipping, I'm just kind of dropping some rubbing alcohol onto it and it's making that ink move around. So you can also blow on it to make the ink go in different directions. You might see my ink kind of like flow a certain way quickly. And that's because I've blown on it uh, using a straw or just my mouth. <laughs> and I just kind of move the ink in a certain direction by doing that. And it kind of mixes things up a little. Uh, but it is very, very unpredictable. And it's not always going to do what you want it to do. And I am new at this, so I will take any tips and tricks uh, with alcohol ink in the description of the video. Just make sure that the surface that you're you're painting on or using alcohol inks on is protected because it will soak through and make sure you're using gloves of course I've already wrecked my fingernails not using gloves with uh, alcohol ink so um, I'm really just using random colors uh, peach fuchsia dark purple blue green yellow uh, turquoise all that comes with um 24 different colors. Um, so I will leave the link in the description for the set of alcohol inks that I bought. Um, there's 24 bottles, there's 10 milliliters in each bottle, and it cost me $54.39. So, uh, and that's Canadian. So if you already have alcohol inks on hand, you can try some of these um, techniques for some backgrounds on your stones. Um, I am happy to learn, so if you know any cool tips, like I said, make sure you leave them in the description. I'm always learning, always learning, and I want to be able to share it with you guys. So um, you can't really see what I'm doing, but I'm just finishing off the end there with some green. You can see the glitters moving around, so it's going to move around until that alcohol ink is dry. Um, so you might see it glittering, and it's very therapeutic. 
uh, it's like very relaxing to watch that ink move and, and find out where it's going to end up and it's going to take some glitter with it. it this is going to look so beautiful when it's dry and we also don't lose the crystally look of the Santorini stone because I'll show you in the end we'll still be able to see that natural sparkle. Now this is a natural Lake Superior stone. You can see it's got like a really cool uh, look to it. And I didn't want to lose that beautiful look, um, that beautiful uh, natural look to it. So uh, what's great about alcohol ink is it's like a stain. It just sits over top and you can still see through it. Um, it's a little bit transparent. And if you add more uh, rubbing alcohol, it does kind of lighten things up a little bit more as well. So keep that in mind. I'm using just random colors again. I, I don't really have, um, I haven't spent enough time with rubbing alcohol and, and alcohol inks to know uh, which colors I like the best, but I just like anything that's colorful. So <laughs> I'm just using them all. I'm gonna use all the colors on here and then we will see what it looks like afterwards. Um, pretty much I'm just going to use this as a fancy background and I'm going to write something uh, special, something inspirational on the front. Um, and I'll show you that at the end of the video. Um, just some ideas so that if you're sick of blending and you're sick of dotting and you don't want to do a mandala with me, um, you can do this and it can look so different um, each and every time you create something with alcohol ink. It is going to look different. There's no way for you to copy exactly what I'm doing, um, but just use your favorite colors. It's going to run down to the bottom. Um, what I'm using is a laminated, um, it's laminated uh, scrapbook paper. So I have two pieces of like uh, probably, I don't know, nine by 12 uh, scrapbook papers and I've laminated them and it's kind of like a big old placemat for me to paint on um, but it cleans up nicely I can wipe it off with rubbing alcohol and the paper towel and it cleans up the mess that I make you guys are gonna see some messes happening shortly um, but if you put this on like a regular desk or table it's gonna stain it for good so uh, I like to use these laminated pieces of paper to uh, do all my painting stuff on because it does protect my desk. <laughs> I just bought myself a new desk on like a, a garage sale auction uh, online and I'm very happy with it. It fits in my room. It holds all of my stuff and it's comfortable and it's much bigger. <laughs> so I'll stop using other places around my house for for my painted rocks <laughs> um, so I'm adding a little bit of blue in there and once in a while I just kind of dip a dry paintbrush in the glitter the very fine fine chrome powder and I just kind of tap the brush over top of the ink I don't put it right in the ink and I just sprinkle some glitter on there and then it'll move it'll move and flow uh, wherever that ink is deciding to go and it looks beautiful in the end. I'll be able to show you after I've resined uh, Just how beautiful that glitter turns out in there. You guys know I can't do something without without glitter very often So I had to incorporate <laughs> um, So yeah, it does get messy It runs down to the other side of your stone as you can see here and I'm just kind of doing the best I can with it um it does dry fairly quickly uh, and when we resin it, it will bring out every color that we have used. You'll be able to see it. Um, it the resin is a fantastic magical uh, sealant and I really love it. <laughs> I can't complain. Um, so this rock is, is ready to dry. We're going to let that dry. I'm going to clean up some of this horrifying mess. Look at how easily it cleans up on that laminated paper. Uh, using rubbing alcohol and a paper towel. So yeah, I just clean it all up and get it ready because we're gonna tr we're gonna do um, a molded stone from the Happy Dotting Company, and it's one of the 3.75 inch uh, molded stones. I use Ultra Cal 30. Everything that I, you need to know about this stuff is in the description of my uh, video. So make sure you check all of the stuff that I'm using, sponges, finger sponges, resin, um, anything, uh, the, the rubbing alcohol 
is 70%. So keep that in mind when you buy some. That's usually the most common, I think. Um, and you only need a little bit. You don't need to use a lot of uh, rubbing alcohol when you're dripping it onto the ink to kind of spread it out or, or lighten it a little bit. Um, so I have used a molded stone. I've painted it white, two coats of white matte acrylic paint. And now I'm going to do the same thing I did on the real stones, the Santorini and the Lake Superior. Um, and I'm just going to blob it on there. Every color of the rainbow, every color that I like. And yes, it's going to run down, but that's okay. Um, after you see what I'm going to do with this stone, you're not even going to care that it ran down the sides like that. So um, it's just a little hint you're going to love it. It's very colorful and you may recognize this uh, technique or stone um, after you see the next tutorial. So I'm sprinkling on some more glitter. You guys know uh, I can't go without it. So I just put on a little bit of glitter here and there and I'm going to keep on dripping on some colors. Be careful. This color does drip out quickly and you don't need a lot and it spreads, right? It kind of bleeds off into its own little place. Um, and so just remember that you don't need too much to get a lot of color there. Um, and you might know of other brands. I'm just dabbing on some rubbing alcohol right now and it's changing up the looks of things here and there. Um, but yeah, you do what you want with it. That's that's what's fun. You just kind of make a mess. And then in the end, you can do some really beautiful things with it. So I'm showing you how to use it on three different stones. And then I'm going to show you what you can do with it once you're done playing with the alcohol ink. So, um, and I'm going to come up with more ideas. Just you wait. It's just newer to me. I waited a long time to try alcohol inks because... Um, I guess you could say I didn't know anything about it, so I was kind of fearful, kind of nervous. It's a little bit blurry right now. I apologize. It will focus back on the stone <laughs> very soon. Um, but yeah, the only way to get over your nervousness is to learn about it and to try it out. So that's what I'm doing. And so far, it's quite fun. I really like it. So I'm going to let this dry um, after I add a few more little bits and bobs of green. I will let this dry, but then I'm going to put some Mod Podge over top of it. Um, I'm going to do that to all three of the stones just to kind of hold the ink in place. If you've ever used Sharpies on a painted stone and then resined it or sealed it and then realized all that ink ran, well, this is ink, so this could run. <laughs> and I don't want it to run um, too much, so I'm going to cover it with Mod Podge once it's dry. Um, before I resin. So this one's dry now and uh, all my glitters stopped moving and everything looks like it's dry. It looks kind of like a mismatch of all different colors all mushed into one little puddle. Um, but all of these colors are really going to brighten up like you would not believe um, once it's completely dry and covered in resin. It, this is going to look totally different. So you might think it looks like a, a muddy puddle <laughs> right now, um, but it will change, I promise you. I'm going to cover the Santorini in Mod Podge as well. It just prevents things from bleeding too much and going where you don't want it to go. Look at the crystally stone itself. It's just gorgeous. I absolutely love Santorini stones. Um, I unfortunately can't get them here in Canada very easily. And so if I do get my hands on some, I save them for very special times like this. <laughs> so this is one of my, my last Santorini stones and uh, I was saving it for alcohol inks. So I'm covering it, just using a little finger sponge, um, covering it with a nice layer of Mod Podge, and then I'm going to let that dry. Same with this one, I'm going to cover it in Mod Podge. I'm just going to use a paintbrush and try and go with the uh, lines that are already in the rock, because sometimes when you put the Mod Podge on there, it does make things move a little bit, makes the ink move. So I'm trying to do it... Uh, lightly. I'm trying to make sure it's dry properly and do it lightly so you don't smear too much of that ink 
and drag it into spots you didn't want it to be in. So just be careful. Um, some rocks, like each rock is going to look totally different. Um, but if you see one that has like a cool design on it, definitely pick it up and save it for an alcohol ink project because it's going to look amazing. Um, you're going to see these resin very, very soon. Uh, and like I said, I'm going to put like an inspirational message on this one here, this Lake Superior Stone. That way you can see what my ideas are. Just having a beautiful, colorful background. Don't mind my muddy backyard and my son's dinosaur. <laughs> um, we had snow again and it melted and now we have muddy, muddy puddles. <laughs> so you are enough How's that? That's all you need when you have a colorful, glittery background like that. You don't need much more than a beautiful, inspirational message. Um, so yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do on this one yet, but you can still see all the crystally uh, Santorini um, specialness in there. Uh, nothing's been taken away from that beautiful stone. It's just a rainbow now. It's a rainbow of colors, and you can do whatever you want with it on top of the resin and then re-resin it again. Um, and that's what I did with this one. I just let it all dry, re resined it, and look at all the glitter, all the color that you can see in there. Each color pops out on its own, and you can do so many different things over top of these rainbows of color. That's a, um, a make your own stone from the molds from Happy Dot and Company. Uh, so is this one. This is also a uh, handmade stone from the multi mold from Happy Dot and Company. Uh, and you wait to see this one. It, they're so colorful. I, it started to get really cloudy outside, and so I had to bring them in to show you. But look at this. Look at this. That is so beautiful. Um, it's like a candy. <laughs> I just want to eat it. Um, but don't, because it's not good for you. Um, I'm going to be creating a cool tutorial with this one, so stay tuned to the next video. I love you guys. I hope this was fun.